this is from chapter 44. We're getting towards the end of the story here. And it's a very important moment in the book. It all starts to come together here. The reason that uh, these two women from girlhood have, um, have had this bitterness, this misunderstanding. There's, there's an interior world that bears no resemblance to the exterior world. As they held each other, she knew they were two 36-year-old women who'd spent years apart in bitterness and recriminations. They weren't here in a grungy flat in the back of a rundown bookshop in Fortitude Valley. They were two little girls in suburban Goodna, a long time ago, inseparable friends since babyhood, eating and bathing together, playing together, teenagers sharing secrets, the two of them on the road, believing in a dream, two against the world. Jude wiped her snotty nose with the back of her hand and attempted a grin. They stuffed us up big time, didn't they, Mickey? Uh Uh-uh, Jude. She rose from where she'd been kneeling at Jude's feet and sat on the bed alongside her. I stuffed us up. Me, all on my own. No help from anyone. I stuffed it up. I guess it was the times, the way things were back then, Mick. Tough times for the likes of us. Jude's right girl, Bernie came across to the bed and gathered both women in her arms. Cruel bloody times. When you two was girls, you was all on your own and you did your best. You were bloody little fighters and you did your best. But the buggers never give you a chance. It was a bloody cruel world, all right. Um, I like that part. It's, it sort of says a lot about, uh, about where I'm coming from when I sat down to write my story.